Hey, what's going on, everyone? So in that last video, we got we got a good start to our layout. I mean, it is done. This does look like a calculator. Uh, right now, it doesn't really resize, and we're going to hit on that later. It's also not very pretty. Like It kind of looks like the Mac calculator. That's, that's really what I was going for. Um, we're going to make it look cooler a little bit later. We're, I guess we'll just call that a bonus episode, but it's probably not bonus, um, just, just to add some style to it. But right now it doesn't work. So if we if we run it, the buttons don't work. Uh, we can't change the the label or anything like that. So that's what we're gonna start doing in this episode. So uh, we need to make some outlets. I'm gonna give myself some space. Uh, so uh, let's see. Oh, press the wrong button there. Okay. So I want to be able to look at these two screens just like I did before. I close a bunch of that. And then here, instead of looking at the storyboard, I'm looking at that view controller. Okay, so first thing that we wanna do is we wanna get an outlet to our label, okay? So just like I, I keep doing it, right? Uh, I didn't, I just didn't say it right now. I'm gonna hold control and then click on that label and I can drag it over to the connected class. So uh, we'll just call this the uh, display label. Okay, the other thing that I wanna do since I'm sitting here creating variables, I wanna be able to hold, I, I guess maybe it's the way, the way that I think about this is uh, the label is just what gets displayed, okay? I never wanna do any like processing or adding directly to that. So I would rather have a separate variable that holds my, holds my actual string that I can kind of edit. And then once I'm done editing that, then I can just send, I can uh, send the text to the display label. So I'm gonna create another variable display string. Okay, and in this case, it's gonna start out at zero. Okay. And then actually for now, we will set that even in the on view did load, we're gonna set that display label dot text equals display string. Okay. So we'll just run that really fast just to see what that looks like. I mean, it's just gonna say zero kind of as expected, but yeah, again, none, none of the buttons work, that's fine, okay? But we have that zero. So now the, the, the piece that I wanna do is, I also wanna organize my buttons. We have to think about like how we need, what, what actions do we actually need on these buttons? Um, so one thing that I could do is I could create an outlet, like a variable outlet, for every single button. There's, like I said, there is a lot of buttons here. Uh, I could do that. Oh, actually, I just realized something. So that's that's definitely true. I did just realize that this, the value of this should say equal and not plus. So I'm gonna fix that right now. Whoops, I'm gonna fix that right now. We want that to say equal. That's gonna be our equal button. Okay, so that's the equal button. But for all the numbers, so like I said, what I could do is I could create outlets for every single button. And then when somebody clicks on something, uh, I can have like a, a switch or a list of if statements and say, well, if you clicked one, add one. If you clicked two, add two. But we can be a little bit smarter about this because uh, if I, let's say I create an action for one of these buttons. So I'm gonna control click to create an IB action. So I'm going to say on number clicked. So I'm not I'm not creating an action for all buttons here. I'm just creating an action for when numbers are clicked. I'm going to make this could be a bordered button or a UI button. We don't really care because we don't we don't need the specialty features of of what we're doing. So I'll just say UI button. Uh, like the only thing different about the bordered button and the UI button was those bordered properties, but in this case, we don't, we don't need that. Okay, so I've now connected zero. Actually, the thing that I wanna do is because we have one button, I can actually click all of them. 
I can click and drag all of them to that to that same action. Okay, and then I don't need to have outlets for every every single one. Again, I'm just doing the numbers here. Okay, and the reason I can do that is because when one of these buttons gets clicked, I get the UI button that gets clicked. Okay. So let's see what that looks like. We're gonna, we're gonna, this isn't gonna be correct, but let's see what that looks like. So uh, when something gets clicked, I'll take my, dis my display string and I'm going to append sender oh, dot, what's the best way to do this? Text, yeah, I'll, uh, let's say current title. There's a couple of different ways that, that you could get this information. Um, so one, one could be from accessing the label. One is just that current title. Uh, it looks like that current title is an optional. So actually the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say guard let text equals sender dot current title else just return. So what I'm doing here, even though I, based on the buttons that I put, we can see what I'm doing here is I'm going to have a guard statement that says if if we don't have a current title, just return, right? Because I there's no logic I can do there at that point. So I'm just going to append text, and we'll see a little bit later why we want that display string separate than the than the text. Uh, so then I'm going to take my display label dot text equals display string. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, build it. And then, so now, so we still had that zero there, but anytime I press a number, that button goes, the the button that I set, that I'm clicking on becomes the, the input to that function, to that action. And I'm, all I'm doing is I'm just reading the text as, as a string, I'm reading the text of that button. Okay, so it's not gonna act 100% like a calculator, but I can just, because I know that these are all numbers in this case, then I can, I can do this. So that way I just, I don't need outlets for everything. I just need one single action for everything. Again, clear, the clear button still doesn't work. Uh, well, there's a whole bunch of problems with it right now. Let me let me run it again. We can have a whole bunch of zeros. All right. So again, we probably don't want we probably don't want that. Clear doesn't work. Um, so actually, let's let's work on those clear buttons as well. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is for now we'll just treat them all the exact same. So I will create a new action. So I'll say on clear clicked. Okay. And we'll do that same thing. Guard sender dot current title return. Now, I want both of these buttons. Okay, we're going to get more a little bit more complicated with this, but that's fine. I want both of these buttons to to go towards here. Um, but I'm going to say if text equals, and we know what the options are. AC. Well, yeah, yeah. It, it, eventually, it's going to look like this. So this is this is going to be my logic here. We're gonna we're gonna change it up a little bit. But basically, what I'm gonna do is for both of these, I will just clear my display string. Just set it back to zero. Oh. 
and then display label. Else. Oh, should have had if there. So it's if text is AC, I'm just going to clear. Again, eventually these will be different. Else if text just equals C, then still same thing, display string equals zero. And then I'm just going to set the label text to display string. Okay, let's run that. And now we should be able to clear stuff. Okay. Obviously, if it's zero, it doesn't do anything but we can clear it now. Cool. Getting closer. All right. Well, at least we can input. So anyway, so there's still some issues, but you know, at least we have all those buttons working and we can clear it. So in the next video, well, we're just gonna keep doing, we're gonna keep doing buttons. Maybe we'll, yeah, at the very least we're gonna get some some of these operators working. Anyway, we'll see you in that next video.